it is dr lee thank you for watching dreams and visions in christ this is part 20 and i'm going to call this the pit p-i-t the pit um and i'm going to go right into my bible scripture i picked and it is from king james like i said if i don't mention it most of the time it's going to be king james unless i say king james or niv but I do my best to try to tell you what version of um, the Bible is coming from. What, which Bible, rather. It says, um, Psalms 9 and 17, 9 verse 17. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. Okay, part 20 is about a vision I had. And I had this about maybe three years ago. And this vision stumped me. As a lot of things stump me when it comes to the Lord. He has to guide me and um, give me an interpretation of it. And like I said, interpretations of, a lot of time may not happen overnight. They can come that day. They can come that moment, that night. It may take months, a year. I mean how god does it and why he does it, i don't know all that because i'm not god with dreams 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 can happen in one day two days six weeks two months a year two you know you know 10 years you know that i don't i don't i mean i don't have have all the knowledge and i'm not saying i have all knowledge so my husband always tell me that um like i have a dream i'm like okay that looks like that's impossible you know to happen here but like hey but then you have to remember time and you know timing is everything you don't know you know god's timing for things so um and so sometimes he tell me like if i'm telling a person um a dream or vision that i had um that involved them it's always remind them that it could be something that's instant could be something going on right now it could be something that that was in the, the, the past it could be something you know that god you know God want to point out, okay, you did this, and I saw you do it. And there's no way for this person to earthly know, but I saw you do this, you know. And so, but correct that, you know, correct that. Or it could be something that, you know, happened in a week. It could be something that happened in a year. You know, you don't know. So, um, I try to tell people that, you know, so they would know. I don't know what instance. I don't know. Just take heed to what I'm saying, you know. And that's up to you to do what you want to do with it, you know, but as long as I get off of me, that's the good part with God, he's so, like, I mean, I don't know, he's just, I'm not, I don't know, I think fair is even an estimate, he's just so, he's so great, and awesome, that he would give you something, a person like myself, he would give you this gift, and it makes no different what the person, what they do with the information, as long as you do your part, I mean, that's like awesome, because they take all the weight off of you, so if the person believe you, if they don't believe you, that's on them. So that's it. But um, this vision here um, is short and simple, like probably most visions. Like I said, I, I think I got a hand. Five visions, I think. Uh, yeah, five visions I've had in my lifetime. Um, that that may be a lot. I don't know, maybe a few. I don't know how to, you know, I don't have any to compare about. But I think if you had at least one vision that you're doing, you're doing awesome, you know, because why God would even take out time to talk to you or me or anybody else? I don't, you know, I like I don't know because He's so great and we're so, we're so pitiful. We're so, we're so. I don't know. We just, I don't know. We just we don't appreciate anything. We we stubborn. We're hard headed. We we just hot mess in other words. And He's so glorious and good and awesome and loving and kind. He's just everything and. It's just all that even take our time to deal with creatures such as ourselves and to even make us, you know, like, and we just mistreat them and don't care, don't love and stump on and do all kind of things. And the ones that are supposed to know God, you know, we just, we say one thing and I actually speak another. So, you know, God has to be awesome because, you know, for some of us, we'll be like, okay, I'm cutting them loose. I mean, human race be done, you know, <laughs> so, so, you know, that, that's, that's how most of us perceive, you know. So we know that God has to be just extremely, extremely, extremely like to the billion gazillion power, totally different, you know, as in our thinking and the way we are. So 
but the um the pit and I haven't told the story yet um about my um daughter um going to the hospital but anyhow my um my youngest daughter was in um the hospital and I was um we had to um stay at the Ronald McDonald house and um I was uh, in St. Petersburg, Florida at this time and I had just left the hospital and I was walking back into the Ronald McDonald house and and Ronald McDonald House is basically a house where if your child is in the hospital, you can come um, to stay there and um, they ask you for a donation. You know, if you have, if you don't have, you don't have to give, you know, that they have a lot of companies and stuff giving. Ronald McD McDonald's, you know, the restaurant, they, um, you know, they have little boxes out there you can drop in. So drop, drop, drop a quarter or two in for, you know, because, hey, if you don't know anybody that has stayed there hey now you know somebody on youtube that actually had to use the house so it'll bless um a family and um it's really a really a a, a blessing to and they don't they, they don't go by race color religion and you know if you have a need and they got availability they 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 let you come and stay and they try to feed you have snacks comfort have activities and i mean i mean it's like a great organization to donate to, even if it's not but a quarter because all the mcdonald's in the world all the mcdonald's when i say all them and all in the world you drop a quarter into the little boxes i know i see them at mcdonald's and um everywhere i go so drop a quarter a dollar whatever you have and you need blessings by your little change makes a difference so anyhow i'm off the subject but um uh shout out to ronald mcdonald house but um the ronald mcdonald house uh I actually had a chance to stay in three, the one in Atlanta, in um, St. Petersburg, and in Orlando. So they all all were great. So um, just I'm commending them now, and hopefully uh, people that see this video will think about this video and drop a quarter or a dollar or whatever into the little box outside. So in out the pit, I was going inside the Ronald McDonald House. I had just left my baby, and we're going to the side of the Ronald McDonald House. And as I stepped up the stairs and was walking to go towards the door, the entry door, and open the doors, a vision just appeared. You know, and the vision, it just took over. I couldn't walk. I couldn't move. If you have a vision, you just can't do anything. All you see is the vision. And in the vision, it's like it took up the whole, like, sky. It was a big old black pit. I mean, it was humongous. I didn't see a fire or anything. It's just a black pit. And with the black pit, it was like um, millions, billions of people just around this pit. And it was like like in lines back to back, just all around. Like if this was just the pit here, it was a circle all around with lines of people. Just I couldn't even see how far the lines went back. Just people walking into the pit. And what was interesting, like if this was the pit here, let me see if I can make the camera. They would just walk. And fall into the pit. And they just kept falling. I mean, from all angles. It's like they would surround the circle. And you would think that if this person in behind you saw you fall in the pit, you will stop. Or the person across there, you could see everybody fall into the pit. But no, they just like, it was like, almost like they were drugged. Like they just, I'm going to just go and go on with, you know, just had no control, out of out of control. And so walking into this pit. And so I saw that. And then that's all I saw. And then my vision came in too, you know. And I'm like, oh, Lord, what was that? All these people fall in this pit. What? What was that? And I'm like, well, Lord, why are you showing me this? And that's it's all the thoughts I'm having in my mind. Like, why are you showing me this? My baby in the hospital. I got enough going on. I'm losing my hair. I'm losing weight. I'm on a roller coaster ride. And, you know, Lord, you showed me this. You know, <laughs> you showed me this. And so, a lot of times we don't have to understand. Like I said, God will show you something. And that's been about three years ago. That you don't know what God, God has for you. Um, at that moment, and it may take some time for it all to make sense. So with that, I went inside. My husband was in there with our other daughter in the Ronald McDonald house. I told him the vision, and he always said, "Alicia, what do you think? What what do you what do what do you think?" And I said, "That's my name, Alicia." But he always said, "Alicia, what the, um, what um, what what do you um, what do you think?" And so, um, I was on. I was like, he said, "Do you see a fire?" I said, "No, I didn't see a fire." You know, and I learned not to add anything. You know, when you have these dreams and visions, you can't add anything. You can't take anything away because it would change it all. It can just change it all. So, um, so I was like, I, I don't, I don't know. I said, it just look like a, look like this. I was just pitting the people like they were out of control. They couldn't control it, so they just kept falling into this pit. So, moving up, about three months later. I got the answer. I was sitting at a funeral. My husband, uncle passed, and I was sitting in the back on the back row. 
at um a funeral and the answer came out of just almost like nowhere i wasn't even thinking about the view like i could hear in my spirit i could hear like the holy spirit saying to me all these people are going to hell and they don't even know it what are you going to do about it and when i heard it i said huh huh you know i'm like you know i was like don't find like huh and then the pit came to me. You know, it's like, oh, you know, God can get a message to you. If you know anything about God, he would get a message to you. And I was like, huh? All these people are going to hell and they don't even know what I'm going to do about it. I was like, God, me, my husband's the pastor. Not, not me. You know what I'm going to do, do about it? And so with that, here we are um, to um, today. And my husband and I, we're a team and, um, at his um church i work with him as support you know and with uh keeping moving ministry at our ministry and you see me more out front a lot of time in this um in this ministry but hey you best believe this i'm um, just knowledge and stuff that i'm just kicking this little bit i know my husband know way more and way 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 more so he um he keeps but that keeps me like guided and directed and you know and helps me a lot so he's truly a a uh a blessing so with that it's our um our um ministry together but a lot of times you keep it moving you'll see me but pastor c you know is just as big as part of it um if not more of a part of it so with um with that i told my husband i said okay we're a team so what this means so now here you see whatever method i can use i never thought about using um uh youtube like this or telling my dreams and visions I never thought that to be telling, you know, to, uh, you know, to our audience on YouTube. But um, if it's going to help someone or it's going to save a soul or, you know, whatever God has for it to do. I mean, I don't know. Like I, I know Romans 8 and 28, God uses you know, all things, all things, good, bad. He uses to YouTube stuff that I'm doing. And, um, he, He'll use it. he use it for my good. So, for whatever purpose he has for keeping moving ministries for my husband and I, for the children, um, he's gonna use this to um to help others, to help us and help us to grow. So he'll get the glory, not that we'll get the glory. So the pit that has been my driving force with all of this, for everything I'm doing now. Once you have a vision like that and and then I mean I can't even explain it. If you never had a vision I mean, you may say, but if you had at um, least one um, vision, you understand how it just take over you wide awake. You mind your own business and, you know, make this, this vision. And I'm saying vision from God because I'm not sure what else and who else give visions out there. That's demonic from Satan, but I'm saying vision in Christ. And so with that, that's where I'm at now. And if people that know me personally, they hear me talk about this pit, you know, this pit. If you can see all these people, you know, falling into this pit. And I'm like, wow. So it made me think about people that go to church, people that don't go to church. You know, that these people are going to hell and don't even know it. So the little bit I can do, which I really can't do a whole lot, but the Holy, Holy Spirit, God, Jesus, the Trinity, all they can just work this thing out. And all these souls that the Lord let me, allow me to see fall into this black pit and this vision. Father, I'm I'm telling you, like, oh my gosh, God can do this. He can all he needs a willing vessel, and I'm willing, and I know it's probably other people out there that's willing. So I mean, God, a revival, bring these people, stop, you know, Lordy, just to want these people to go, these big relief to fall into this this pit and just burn forever. I mean, have you been burnt before? You been been, been burnt? Just put some coffee in your hand. One, I remember said she did that. She was like, "Oh, if so she was pouring coffee and it fell on my hand, she was like, she don't want to go to hell. No, no, that 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 burnt a little bit on the end. It was still burning. She said it was burning so bad. So what I'm saying is, this pit. What you see me now is just the, the little bit that I can do, um, personally, to 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 start trying to get these souls that the Lord allowed me to see that. that was falling this pit to to have them to 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 turn so they won't fall in this this pit and this pit was hell and um sad it's just sad and um and i don't i would you know want anyone to go to this 
this this pit in here forever and ever and ever and ever. That's that I can't even you can't even imagine that burning forever. So however God use any and all things that I do that we do as a small ministry, I mean he gets the glory. So that's where I I'm, I'm at that's where we're adding to you know, a person at a time. Well how remember God let us, you know, really touch that that they can seek God's face, know Him, the salvation, if they don't have salvation, and, and grow, you know, and grow in Christ, and not fall into that pit. So, anyhow, thank you for watching, and listen to this vision that um that I had, and that every time I think of it, just almost like, I don't know, just do something to my my uh, soul, my spirit is like a burden. Just like a burden. What can you know I do? And so I'm just letting God use me. Sit back and I and I, I finally answered that question one day. I mean it was it was not I had to think about like what can I do? It's like Lord, I can't do much, you know. Can't do much but you know, but be a vessel and you do it all. So God, you direct me, you lead me. I'm all sold out. You tell me what I need to do. I'm sold out. So I'm sold out for for Christ. I'm sold out for the Lord. I'm been guided and led by the Holy Spirit. And if you don't like it, that's on you because I'm going to do this until the day I die to, you know, God say, you know, it's time for me to come home. So that's where I'm at now in life and in life and in the Lord. And so my goal is to all those billions of people fall into this pit. Have God going to use me, my ministry, my husband, my, my, my children, just everything that that's that. That I'm involved with, you know, money, the, you know, the, I mean, financially, emotionally, socially, emotionally, however he's, he's used, it, I'm let him, let him be in control. So I always say Galatians, Galatians, Galatians 2 and 20, I have been crucified with Christ, no longer live, but Christ lives in me. And so I I go I I always I, I quote that whole I didn't quote it all then, but um, but I I, I said it to myself um every morning like Galatians two and twenty, and I and I go and say you know that, you know that I live by faith you know I, I'm I'm doing this by faith through the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me, and so just read Galatians two and uh, twenty and be crucified with Christ and that's where I'm at now. And that's my mission. That's my goal. And if you don't like it, oh well, that's you. Hope you like it. I uh, hope you get on board and be a soldier for Christ also. I'm Dr. Lee. And as always, thank you for watching. And let go. Let God and keep it moving. And don't fall in the pit. Change, 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 change. All right, take care. Thanks for watching.